Welcome back to Honest News Network. What could be worse than corporations and lobbyists running the United States Corporation of America? What could be worse than this corporation that is not a country but is a corporation separate from the District of Columbia, which is where our government is, and only has control only over areas like Puerto Rico and different areas that we have purchased. But the United States of America, as far as the country, as far as the states of this country, are not under the control of the government. They're not owned by the government. And that's why you must give your consent to everything that they want you to do. They are controlling you. Not against your will. They are controlling you with your consent. Through deception. You are a free moral agent. God created you free, and you are to be free, and you are to live on your land and live free. But the government that only controls the District of Columbia has usurped its authority. And you and I give our consent, whether it be a driver's license whether it be uh, a job, even working a job, having to pay taxes through that job. All of this is controlled by the deep state. The deep state is not what's against Donald Trump. The deep state is the fact that there are two governments, or should I say there are two Americas. Most Americans don't know this. There is the land of the free, and then there's the District of Columbia and the, uh, you know, the different areas that they have purchased, like Puerto Rico, for instance. But other than that, they have no ownership of us. They have no control over us, and everything they do to us is usurped. You and I are free, but they don't want you to know that. They want you to give your consent. Continually give your consent away. That's why you must sign everything that you do must be signed. And... Well, Jesus said to keep the peace, pay your taxes. You know, if you're going to live in America under this usurped authority that they have over you, and you want to keep the peace, well, Paul said, I become all things to all men. But I certainly would rather pay my taxes and uh, live peaceably with all men, knowing the truth than to have a slave mentality. Because most in the United States, the country, the land, not the District of Columbia, that's separate from the United States, but the states that are separate from the District of Columbia, most people don't even know that they're free. No idea that they're free. Just as free as the Indians were here before we got here. Free. And it's interesting because when illegal uh, aliens, immigrants, come in from this uh, other countries into this country, they have more rights than you and I. Why? How is it possible that they would get more rights than you and I? How come they get so much assistance from District of Columbia. Why don't we get that assistance? 
How come you and I don't get that kind of treatment? It's because those folks that come in illegally come in through the District of Columbia. They're not free. They are actually slaves. They're slaves in America. They're owned. They're taken care of. They're provided for. And for you and I to be receiving the same treatment that these illegals receive that come into this country, you and I would have to stop being free. Are you willing to give up your freedom so that you can be like the immigrants? Because according to Obama, he says, we're all immigrants. No, I was born free. I was born free, hallelujah. Born free. And that, you know, I'm not going to put any other title on myself. I'm not going to put a title on myself, American citizen. No, I was born free. With no dictates of man. Are you listening, people? This is the truth. And so right now, through lobbyists that go to the District of Columbia from the United States as far as the country, the land, they have to go to Washington and lobby Washington. They have to go and lobby the District of Columbia, the government that only has control over the District of Columbia. That's it. So, why do we give up our freedom? So that we can have some assistance? So that we can have a corrupt government, a corrupt uh, leadership in the District of Columbia. Why do you think California is wanting to break away? Why do you think Texas was talking about breaking away from the District of Columbia? Because they know. They know the truth. We were born free, people. If we were born in the United States, on this land we call America, then you and I are born free. Nobody has a right to usurp their authority in my life, except I give it to them. And that's what I do. When I willingly consent, when I willingly sign my name over, and I will continue to do that, don't get me wrong, because I'm not here for war, I'm not here for strife, Jesus said, live peaceably with all men. But I certainly would like to know that I'm free and that I willingly give my consent. Why would I want to willingly give my consent? Because I enjoy the things that are provided for me. The wonderful roads, uh, just wonderful things we enjoy here in this country. I mean, I've been to India, I've been to Haiti, I've been to other countries, people, where the roads are not taken care of, and I will tell you, just to go a few hours, it takes a day. It takes a day to travel to where I would go to in Haiti because the roads were so eroded and so bad. And it was only two hours. And by airplane, they flew us in, we were there in 15 minutes. So, because we are thankful for what the District of Columbia, through the local level, provides for us. Now, remember, Donald Trump wants to put this all back on the local level. Because he doesn't want to have any responsibility for the local level anymore. He doesn't want to have any resp- He wants Washington, he wants the District of Columbia to basically allow the American citizens not to be free, but to be under the control of the governors, to be under the control of those that go to the District of Columbia. You understand how that works? 
That's martial law, by the way. You don't have to have military and police in their positions for you to have martial law, people. Martial law is when you have those that are taking their orders from the District of Columbia and receiving grants from the District of Columbia so that they can come back and govern over you. That is martial law. You see, the whole thing was supposed to be designed where you and I were served by the District of Columbia, where you and I were taken care of by the District of Columbia in the sense of keeping order, civil order, not for the purpose of controlling us, not for the purpose of telling us what to do. You know, people in of themselves, especially those that are that have morals, especially those that follow the Bible, you don't have to tell them what's right and wrong. The problem is, is when you have those that are pagans, that have no moral compass, they have no moral morality in their life, they have no sense of value for human life, and so they need some kind of a uh, compass or some kind of a uh, you know, guidance because they won't follow the Bible. But if everybody in the United States of America was to follow the Holy Scripture, you wouldn't need a government. There would be no purpose of even the police or the sheriff or you wouldn't need any of that. But because you have corruption, because you have uh, those that are not honest because you have those that are covetous and those that don't are not thankful for what they've got. They want to have somebody else's and they try to take it from them. Then you could have some kind of authority that comes into play. In the Old Testament, those were the judges. God never desired to have a king over his people. That was their choice. God instituted the judges and the prophets. So what's going on right now in the, in the states of America, listen to me, in the United States of America, not including the District of Columbia, what's going on is you and I are being controlled by the District, District of Columbia, which is under the control of England, which is under the control of Britain. Are you listening, people? That's why the scripture says the wings of the eagle are attached to Great Britain, the, the lion. So what could be worse than all of this, that the corporations that lobby the District of Columbia and the governors and all, you know, as far as all that, what could be worse than that? I think what could be worse than that is what's going on right now. Much worse. And that's this. I think this is much worse. When Jezebel is stirring up Ahab in the District of Columbia. Are you listening, people? When Baal worship, when they're putting up the arches of Baal in the in New York City and around the world, and they're talking about with 3D printing, printing up more of these artifacts and more of these structures that come from Babylon, they want to bring more and more. They want to resurrect Babylon and put it out all over the wor world, not just in certain areas, but all over the world. They want, they want to resurrect Babylon, ancient Babylon, and they want to put these structures all over the world. Are you listening? So Donald Trump is taking his directive, taking his uh, direction. He's taking his lead from the evangelicals, that's the Jezebel spirit, and they're hearing from Satan. So who is the angel that rides in the wind that George Bush Jr. was talking about? Is there not an angel? Yeah, there is. His name is Lucifer. Really, his name's Satan, but he goes by Lucifer. Oh, yeah. There is a, an angel in the whirlwind, but it's got nothing to do with God, and it is the angel that's been leading this nation. And it has a lot to do with the Statue of Liberty, and it has nothing to do with freedom or liberty, as you might think. 
You are already free, people, without a statue. You don't need statues to make you free. You don't even need a constitution to make you free. You were born free. Amen. You were born free. And they don't want you to know that. They don't want you. They don't tell you that. You don't find that in your textbooks. But you were born free. And in the eyes of God, a free moral agent. And I am in no way trying to incite riot or trying to incite rebellion. And I even told you, I'm going to live free and I will give my consent to live peaceably with all men. As long as I choose to live here under the governance of the District of Columbia. But I'm free. And when I pay taxes or whatever I choose to do and give my consent, I'm doing that freely. No man makes me do that. And that's real freedom. Paul said, I become all things to all men. No man makes me do anything against my will. If he does, I'm a slave. If he does, then I am a slave, friends. You need to make up your mind. Are you going to be a slave or are you going to be free and give your consent? Now, there are things we enjoy in this country you aren't going to find in other countries. Yeah, there's other countries that are great. Don't get me wrong. But I'm going to tell you, I don't think there's another country on this planet that's like America. I mean, this has been the greatest land. Albeit, it's getting more and more corrupt because of what's going on in the District of Columbia. Under the governance of the Roman Empire, under the governance of Britain, England. The District of Columbia never broke away from England. That's the only thing they were able to keep when they sold the rest of this land of the United States of America. They sold it all because they were going bankrupt. And the only thing they were able to keep was the District of Columbia. And they willingly bow to England. They willingly bow why? Why would they willingly bow? Maybe they got some money coming in. Maybe there's some money coming in we don't know about. I don't know why they willingly bow down to the queen. Every president of the District of Columbia has always bowed down to the queen, has always gone there and visited during their presidency, visited England to show their respect. Do you not know that the Queen of England and the whole monarchy, that whole thing is corrupt? Did you not know it's a sham? Did you not know that, folks? This family moves in and buys up the land and makes themselves royalty. They're not the royal seed. They're not connected to any royalty. So I'm sharing this with you because I think what is more dangerous than being a slave to the corporations, a slave to the District of Columbia through deception is much worse than when Jezebel controls things. Jezebel is now in control through the evangelicals and Ahab is sitting in the White House. There's only thing, one thing left. And that's God said he's going to send the spirit of Elijah. Amen. He's sending Elijah to turn the father's hearts to the children and the children to the fathers, lest he smites the earth with a curse. Amen. John the Baptist had the spirit of Elijah. The spirit of Elijah is the Holy Ghost. We need men in this hour that are full of the Holy Ghost that will stand up against the wicked Jezebel, that will stand against the wicked Ahab. Amen? Because this is no longer political, people. This has become spiritual. This is much more dangerous than even Obama. This is Jezebel, people. This is Babylon. This is the reviving of Babylon. This is Babel. This is offering children to the fires. Donald Trump didn't put a stop to abortion. 
Nope. Didn't even try. It's all a deception. We need to be praying. We need to be praying like we've never prayed before, people. Thank God every single day that he, you, if you were born in this country and you were born free. Thank God. And don't take that for granted. Be thankful every single day that you live in a, you live in a place, I'm going to tell you, that you can pull up to a grocery store and you don't have to worry about someone smashing into your car. You don't have to worry about someone breaking into your car or, or looting you while you're on your way in or out of that store. I'm telling you people, we live in a place that is so free and we can lose all of that. How do we lose it? The rioting, unruliness. When we start actually begging for the District of Columbia to enforce their rule of law. Worse than that, to enforce the United Nations rule of law upon this country. I'm going to continue to live free and be thankful. And like I said, continue to give my consent to drive on these roads. I praise the Lord. I thank God. Because I, like I said, I've been in these other countries. I've been to India. They don't really have very good roads. And if I don't know if you've ever been in a intersection in India. Oh, my goodness. Go to Dubai. Uh, just, I mean, go to uh, Mumbai sometime and just look. I mean, go on the Internet. Go on YouTube and look how chaotic it's it's a wonder they don't smash into each other but i don't even know how they make how they do it they stop and wait for each other but it's the most chaotic mess i've ever seen and if there is an accident oh my goodness it's slow it stops everything everything stopped and they've got street lights but they don't look at them they don't even pay attention to them now you're going to hear more and more that Donald Trump is going to continually put the responsibility back to the local level. And that's not good. Because even the local level's corrupt. They're bought out and paid for. That's right. Who are they bought out and paid for by? Without question. District of Columbia. Who are the banks controlled by? The District of Columbia. Who's the District of Columbia controlled by? Ultimately, the Federal Reserve. That's right. The Rothschilds. It all comes back to Britain, Rome, Rothschilds? I guess they call that the Club of Rome or something like that. I don't pretend to know it all, but I do know some things. But I'm going to live free. I praise God for that. I am not a slave. I don't have a slave mentality. I don't do anything anybody tells me to do unless I want to do it. And uh, do it willingly. But I'm not going to do it against my will. If I have to do it against my will, that's slavery. That's abuse. That's bondage. So when people say I'm an American, I'm a citizen of the United States, no. No. I was born free. Period. Free. Glory to God. Free. And I live by the Bible. So you don't have to worry about me coveting. You don't have to worry about me stealing. You don't have to worry about me murdering. You don't have to worry about me even gossiping. 
I'm going to live peaceably in this land that I was born free in. I hope you will too. And ultimately, I was born again. And I'm a citizen of another country. I'm looking for a city whose builder and maker is God. I'm a sojourner. Hallelujah. I'm a citizen of the kingdom of God. Not trying to set up his kingdom on this earth. No. I'm a citizen of another country. Hallelujah. His banner is love. Amen. His flag that flies over that country, over that kingdom, is love. Praise God. Not hate, not divisiveness, not dissent, not covetousness, but love. 